Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. David. Hey. How are you? Very good. Yeah, very good. So what have you been up to this week? Uh, this week. I haven't seen you doing much work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this week we have been busy. We've been filming for a new project. Um, I did a lecture this week as well. Yes, you did. Uh, um, great load of guys. Yeah, it was. It was a really good night. It was a really good night. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a few coming up. So, check with your club. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully I will see you there. Um, but, yeah, I, I've also been reminiscing a bit this week. You have been reminiscing. Yeah. One of the first DVD sets, and I bought these individually over probably the space of a year with pocket money. Right. Uh, when I was younger. Uh, was this set, which is called The Complete Card Magic, volume one to seven. Uh, I made it to seven eventually. Right. Uh, but this is, uh, well, we're going to talk about this in detail, but yeah, there's some really great stuff on here and a, an amazing deal with this. Uh, there's also two other tricks we're going to be talking about today. Yes, there is. And we can talk about these very briefly, oh, okay. actually, not in depth. Um, Sub-Zero was an effect we released quite a few years ago. It was a Wayne Dobson creation. Yeah. Really nice open prediction routine that he, uh, he offered to us. Um, but when I was playing around with it, I came up with some different routines for it. So Sub-Zero has actually been off the market for about a year. Right, but yeah. we've just had some more in. Mm -hmm. Not many, but we have had some more in. Um, check out the trailer on the website. It's a really, really nice open prediction. Um, but also, I've got some other routines on the disc as well. So that comes with a DVD, gimmicks, add it to your own deck, um, and a little special something. So that is Sub-Zero by Wayne Dobson. Well, there's actually three special somethings in there because you get three different routines. You get three you different, yeah, three different gimmicks plus an additional oh, special okay, something. Oh, okay, yes. I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. <laughs> so that is Sub Zero. I'm slowly waking up. I'm still check out. Um, check out the performance of that. There's a full performance of me doing the uh, the standard routine. Yes. On on our website. So check that out. And it's been a long time coming, but it's here. Ultimatum by Steve Brownlee is great and in stock. Fantastic. Now this is. We've had a, quite a few questions about this. It is a gimmick deck, obviously. Otherwise, it would be a miracle. It would, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not it mackerel. looks... No, not a mackerel, which is a bit like a miracle, just slightly fishy. <laughs> um, oh, dear. <laughs> no, the Ultimatum deck is a really versatile utility deck. Um, Steve explains, I think it's four or five tricks on here. We've also got a bonus section on there where he talks about other ideas. They, they do yeah. like a little brainstorming session. Um, it's a really great trick. It's some fantastic routines, and um, one of the routines in there really flew past me when I watched it, and I didn't know what the deck was. So yeah, it did. It did get. Well, me. He, he fooled me with it in Blackpool when I first saw it. He'd done the card at any number routine. Um, I must admit, as a as a working routine, if you're out working, yeah. the free choice cards. Yeah, it's perfect. It's phenomenal. It? The interaction is great, and if you're working a banquet table, you're getting people from you know, all parts of the table on it. So yeah, yeah, yeah really good. Um, so that's really great. And the other good thing about Ultimatum is it's very, very easy to learn. It is, yeah. Very easy to learn. Um, so that's Ultimatum. Once again, comes with a full streaming video. Uh, if you purchase this from Alakazam, the video will be automatically deposited in Ooh. your My Streaming Video section. If Perfect. you purchase it from anywhere else, There'll be a card inside with a link. Go on there and you can watch a tutorial anytime you like. But that is Ultimatum. They're in stock at the moment in both red and blue. The red did actually sell out in about four hours. Did, is my yeah. stomach rumbling? Yeah. It it's did. nearly lunchtime. It spoke to me. It's, it's actually just gone lunchtime. <laughs> um, but yeah, the red sold out in about four hours, but we got some more in. They're all made up, ready to go. So Ultimatum, that's it. Another bit of brilliant news, um, if you haven't seen my FIA app, um, ever since it was released, it was only released on the Apple Store. We used to have loads of emails, loads of comments on the Facebook page. When's it going to be available on Android? 
I'm happy to say, uh, with big thanks to my very good friend, Simon Martin Lemon, we've actually now got it on the Amazon store. Oh, cool. Right, I don't really know much about this because I'm on Apple. Yeah. But apparently with Android apps, you can buy them from Google Play yeah. or you can buy it from Amazon. I, I don't know how it works, but if you've got a, uh, an Android phone, you'll know how to, to get it. So just go onto Amazon um, and you can download it. Just search for Alexander Magic, I believe, and the app will come up. It's only £2.99. Um, great trick. And all the updates you get free of charge. Um, even if you buy it now, there is another update coming out because we're, we're tweaking it a lot more now, yeah. now that we've got free rain on the thing. Um, so there's another nice little thing, which I didn't tell you about, but when it's locating your card, when it's on the pile that your card's in, yeah. a little fingerprint comes up as if, as if it's located oh, the nice. fingerprint, you know? That's so cool, little yeah. touches like that um, are happening all the time. And then obviously any updates you'll get free of charge anyway. Um, but that's that. So for those of you that haven't seen the FIA app, we're gonna drop the trailer in now. I will say once you open the app, there is video tutorial as well as written instructions within the app as well. Very, very easy to learn. It's got loads of different functions. It's got some great little gag functions as yeah. well. So um, this is the trailer for my IFA. And remember, you can purchase it on the App Store if you're using Apple iPhone. And you can um, get it from Amazon if you're using Android. Yeah. And it will soon be on the Windows Whoa. Okay, side, cool. whatever that is, for, for the Windows phone. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So that's FIA. David. Pete. We're going to show you something. Uh, okay. Something incredible. But it's a trick where you're going to do the magic. God help us. <laughs> All right? <laughs> the first. Um, a deck of cards. I'm going to try not to touch those cards again. What I'm going to ask you to do is just cut the deck roughly in half. You can do that for me now. That's perfect. Have a look at the card you've cut to. In fact, sign your name on the face of that card and show it to the camera. I'll keep my head turned in this direction so I can't see what you're doing. Well done. Pop it on this pile and take those cards up and put them on the top. Um, give them another cut. Yep, and another. Are you happy? Yeah. Sure. Turn the cards face down. Now this way, you've got no idea where your card is. Right. I've certainly got no idea where your card is. Now you're going to make a decision. You're going to cut this deck into a number of piles. That's going to be either three, four, or five. The choice is yours. Okay, okay. so cut them into piles. Three. Brilliant. Now you can actually mix the piles around. Happy? Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay. If you had to take a guess whereabouts your card was, it's a one in three chance, but yeah. it would only be a guess. So we're going to find your card using the world's best fingerprint detecting technology. Okay, okay. on my phone, you can see we've got this little uh, app, which is the Forensic Identification Assistant. Yeah, oh, password, can't show you now. Don't look. <laughs> Okay, password in. What we have now is a fingerprint screen. If you pop your finger, uh, your finger onto the pad, it's actually going to scan your finger and it's actually going to memorise your fingerprint. What's that say? Unique ID logged in. Unique ID logged in. Okay, so press the OK button. Uh, which one would you like to be pile number one? This one or this one? Uh, this one. Okay, we'll pop it onto pile number one. Press the scan button for me. That's actually going to scan this pile looking for your card or a fingerprint matching yours. What's that say? Match not found. Try okay, again. press the OK and pop it onto pile number two. Press the scan button. Once again, it's going to look through the pile looking for a fingerprint matching yours. Match found. Match found. So that's telling me inside this pile is a card with a fingerprint matching yours. Okay. Okay. Press OK, and it's now going to try and calculate whereabouts in that pack your card is. Okay, that's saying there's Fifth. a match found <laughs> at position five. What was the name of your card, by the way? 
I believe it was the Jack of Hearts. It's got my the, name on it. Okay, so we'll get rid of these actually. Pick up that pile and it's position five. So dealing face down into my hand. One, two, three, four. And this was five, what was it? I believe Jack of Hearts. Turn it over, but it has got your name on it. The Jack of Hearts <laughs> with your name and that is FIA, the Forensic Identification Very System. Good. Right, so now on to the complete Card Magic course set of DVDs. Um, I will say before we get started, there are limited stocks of these. We've put up a stock level on our website. When it reaches zero, you won't be able to order it. So um, I believe it's on our site half of the original price, maybe even less than that. Yeah. Um, and there aren't many sets. But as you were saying, this is a set of DVDs that you grew up with, so yeah. of getting it into... It's, um, I, I got one and I, and I loved it and uh, they, they really uh, cleverly named. So when you're a kid, there's beginner, intermediate, uh, advanced. So obviously I went straight for the advanced one, realized I couldn't do any of it. And, and you've even so, got expert. Expert extreme. Oh, was, is there expert and there expert is. and expert extreme? Um, and this, this was it, really sad, but I was really looking forward to becoming an expert extreme. <laughs> and I finally got there. Uh, but the idea of these is they are plots that you may be familiar with, uh, but all in one place. So you've got Chicago Open and you've got Oil and Water. Uh, there's even a coin matrix on here. Ambitious card. Ambitious card. Uh, Sandwich effects. Almost yeah. everything's covered on there, isn't it? Yeah. But and really well taught as well, I would just say. Um, the only downside to this is the music. Yeah, which, it looks a bit dated. It is. It, is it looks and feels a little bit dated, but they all do. I mean, I grew up with... Um, I say I grew up with, when I started getting back into magic, I bought myself the, uh, when they come out, the Daryl's Encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. Um, and once again, when you look back on those now, they are pretty dated, but it's oh, such a one, great yeah. collection. And I've still got a collection of them um, at home because if ever I'm inventing something yeah. and I need to repeat a move four times, yeah, yeah. I'll just check out either you know one of these or one of Daryl's and think, well, what other versions are there of that move so it doesn't look like I'm doing the same move all the time. Exactly. Um, so it's so like they, a staple that you keep going back to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great reference as well as a great learning tool. Yeah. Um, but on our website, we aren't selling them, we're not selling them separately. You buy them as a bundle. Yeah. Um, you're not going to believe the price. It's like £35 yeah. for all seven discs. When so I, that's a fiver a disc. Exactly. And when, genuinely, when <coughs> I, I bought these, obviously I bought them at separate times, but they were about £16, £17 pound, um, a, a disc. So that, that's an awesome, awesome deal. I have picked three tricks that I'm going to show you on here. Uh, just to give you a little taster, uh, they are all card tricks, it's a card course, yep. uh, but there is a coin matrix with cards and coins on here as well. Uh, so, the first one, which we'll go to right now, is called The Man From New York, and it is on Expert Extreme, but I will say, you haven't got to be really, really high um, skill, level. skill level in order to do these things. Yeah, they'll it's know called, that because you're going to be doing it. It's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Peter. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd make that very clear because even though it says Expert Extreme, I don't want it to put you off and you think, well, hold on. Yeah, it's um, not Benjamin L or Michael Vincent no, level. because I wouldn't be doing it. So <laughs> here we go. Let's take a look now at the trick. It's from um, Expert Extreme, so volume five, um, and it's called The Man from New York. As a kid, I was quite mischievous, and the first time I saw magic was from my dad's friend. Uh, he said he could cheat at cards, so I handed him my own pack of cards, and I said, show me something. He took the cards, started to mix them up, but at the same time was looking at the cards to make sure that uh, the faces, no two were the same, and to make sure that the backs were marked. He then took some of the cards, turned them face up, some face down, Really kind of mixing the order of the pack. And all the way across the kitchen table, I remember it, he would cascade the cards. Some face up, one face down, all on top of each other. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, I am going to just mix them in like this. Okay. He then asked me to name a four of a kind. Uh, I named aces. And he said, watch. 
Nothing in my hands, I'm gonna to cut to the aces. There's the first one, just about there. The ace of hearts. The second one's a little bit deeper, just about there. That's the ace of spades. The third one is exactly 17 cards. I could count, but to save time, let me just cut that for you. Just about there, 17 cards. The last one, he said, all I have to do is click. And if I click, and I saw he didn't get an ace, I was well happy. I thought I got him. He said, no, no, that's a three. It's an indicator card. That's one, that's two, and that's three, and that's the fourth ace. Now, I'll be honest, I was amazed. I didn't let on to that. Instead, I said to him, well, yeah, but what are you gonna do about the rest of the cards? They're all up and down and mixed. He said, no, not a problem. I just do this. And all the cards face exactly the same way. And uh, yeah, I've never been cocky since. So that was Man from New York. Yeah, I mean, a lot of magic happening there for not a lot of skill. Yeah, it's a um, great trick. You know, you, yeah, you've all the different elements of it. You're locating, finding cards in a flashy way, and then boom, all the cards are facing the right way. It's a really nice effect. And so. it's a very practical effect as well. Very easy to get into, very oh, yeah. easy to get. Well, you're sort of reset at the end. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah really, really nice effect. And important to say as well that uh, I believe all of the tricks on these are, are with an all deck of cards and just some yeah. um, basic to intermediate, uh, you know, slights. But as again, I say, it's all taught very, very well. Okay, um, brilliant. So what's the next one you're gonna show? So the next one, um, I will say the name of it afterwards so it doesn't give anything away for the effect. Okay. Uh, packet of cards, Peter. Yes, indeed. And you're gonna pick one. I'm gonna try and, and, and read your body language, all right? So have a look at the card, show the camera. Uh, okay. But it can be anyone. Anyone I want. Yeah. I'm gonna have that one. Make sure you remember it as well. It's an easy one to remember. Don't look in the monitor. Yeah. Just pop it back. Good. Yeah. And I'm gonna go be a little fancy cut. You don't have to do that. I'm just trying to show my chops. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Uh, first off, do you mind just cutting the cards for me, please? Let me see if I get a feel for the card first off. Okay, perfect. I don't think it's in there. I'm going to eliminate it. I'm going to use these cards. Ooh. So I'm going to show you the cards and I want you to look out for your card and yep. try not to give anything away. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you them uh, probably five at a time. All right, so. Okay. So now you can lie and tell the truth, but uh, did you see your card in there? Yes, I did. Okay, you're a terrible liar. I am a terrible liar. <laughs> it's not in there, is it? No. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, the next part. Yeah. Did you see your card in there? No. Terrible liar. I am a terrible liar. I tell you this: your card was um, your card was a red card. It was a red card. And now you're telling the truth, right? Yes. It was a red card, and it was in there, and it was a heart. No. Oh, now you're lying. I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a two. It was. And the reason I know that is because it's the only card left. Inside my hand. And that is called the last card. That is cool. It's a great, you know. It's cool. It's a great little effect. It's very strong uh, for lay public because they're seeing all the cards, they're counting it, and you're conditioning them. Yeah. So you put the first five down. Uh, and then it's a really lovely moment. You can even oversell it if you want to. Yeah, the by sort of trying to morph it into one card. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really lovely trick. It's on volume four. And that trick is called The Last Card. And to be fair, if that's, what's that, expert? That's expert, yeah. See, I, I, would, I wouldn't even say that's intermediate, no. really. It, it's, you know, that, that's the sort of level. Because that, it's very reminiscent of the Biddle trick, which is, once again, such a great trick for lay people. Yeah, um, 100%. And I think with this whole, uh, you know, expert and expert extreme, I really think it is there to encourage the younger people to go... Oh, I'm, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, getting into magic. and it, it, they are. You are moving up a level. Yeah, that's the thing. You are moving up a level. So, but the beginners. I mean, if you grab just the, the bundle down there, just, just to give you an understanding of this. So, uh, I believe on uh, disc number one for the beginners. So let's find disc number one, volume one. Uh, you are learning. Uh, so there's a do as I do on there. Uh, starts. With, there's twenty one card trick. Um, and then you move on to, I'm just trying to work out when it comes in. 
But yeah, there's colour changing deck. There's um, Chicago opener. Yeah, which is one of my favourite tricks. Yeah, a fantastic trick. Colour changing deck. I always uh, maintain that colour changing deck is one of the most visual, visual tricks you can do to a lace bet. So yeah. Uh, on to volume three, you've got a card warp on there, a homing card. Um, you have got a mark deck routine, an ace routine. So yeah, I mean, each one really moves up and. This one here, volume seven, is cuts and slights. Yeah. So you're going over the glides, break, um, flourishes, passes, you know, the, the palms. There, yeah. There's so much cool stuff on here. And, you know, as a professional magician, I, I'm not afraid to say that it's probably been a while since I've overlooked some of the basic slight moves yeah. that you forget because you get into your routine and you get used to what you do. So, you know... Here's flourishes, shuffles, and forces on that one there. And then there's some great collectors, gambling routines, comedian cards. Uh, really, really great set. It's, for, for the money, it's a no-brainer. I yeah. mean, £35 for seven discs, that's £5 a disc. Yeah. And, you know, you it's always good to, to add more stuff to your repertoire, especially with a, with a standard deck. Yeah. You know? The, the last one I wanted to show you, uh, which is called A Very Good Hand. This right. is with a smaller pack of cards. Um, I'm gonna play this to camera. So if we go to that now. So I had the weirdest dream the other day that I was sat at a table playing poker in Vegas and I had a little peek at the first card and it was a suspect. I was over the moon. I took it, I ducked it to the bottom and then I had a little peek at the second card, which was also the Ace of Spades. Uh, I ducked that to the bottom. At this point, it was a bit weird. Um, I had a look at the third card. Again, an ace of spades. And I knew I was in trouble here. Uh, if they caught me cheating with all the cards being aces, then I knew I would get in trouble. So I decided to use a little bit of magic and get myself the best possible hand out of five cards that I could. Right, so that was a very good hand, and it, it was. was a very good hand. It was a very good trick. It yeah. was a very good trick. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't really recommend these high enough. You guys at home will have your favourite DVDs that you've grown up with. This is one for me. Uh, the reason they're here, I went up in the loft, I found 13 sets of these. 15. 15 sets. That was it. 15 sets of these, and uh, straight away I wanted to show them to you because I got a lot out of this set. And hopefully you will too. Don't look at this as a beginner set either. There's some really great um, tricks on here. And what I love about this is looking back at this now, once I've learned all these slights and I'm comfortable with them, is it took me a couple minutes to relearn each trick. That That's the thing. If you are, uh, you know, an intermediate magician, any of these, you, you'll just watch and go, yeah, great. It, yeah. It's you know it's reminding you of the premise of the trick. It's reminding you of the trick, and it's I I've been doing magic for such a long time now. And when I first started, I would learn everything. It wasn't as much about you yeah. know coming out on DVD and so forth, but I would learn all the tricks. But as the years have gone by, the only ones I really remember are the ones I do from day to day. Yeah. And it was only watching um, Paul Gordon when we were filming, and I was just thinking to myself, right. I'm going to learn that, 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 and every trick because it's just a regular deck. Yeah. And then you found these upstairs, you showed me a few tricks from them, and straight away you're just thinking, God, it's no work. Yeah. And I've got another 10, 15 tricks in my repertoire, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the ace one I showed you at the beginning, the ace cutting um, and then the, the deck you know, fixing itself, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's actually easier than the Triumph I do. And, it, and it's more impressive, I think, because you've got more phases to it. Yeah, there's a lot happening. And yeah. That second trick I showed you as well, the last card, uh, no lie, I used to do it. I used yeah. to do it all the time, you know, because this is what I learned and I completely forgot about them. Uh, so I'll be redoing that. It's a fun effect. Uh, so, yeah, really, really, really great. I can't recommend these highly enough. Uh, there's seven DVDs there. Um, even and they will, they will sell fast. So yeah. if you're interested in them, put your order in ASAP because I'll, I'll be surprised if they don't sell in 24 hours, even less. Yeah. So that's it. Complete course of card magic. So that brings us towards the end of this blog. Yep. Uh, some great stuff there. Uh, just to reiterate uh, the set. Yep. Seven of them. Yep. Really, really great price. 
Grab them now, ultimatum. Ultimatum out now, we've got them in stock, both red and blue. Sub-Zero is back in stock, make sure you check out the trailer for that. Uh, just to remind you guys, we've got a week next week where we're gonna be filming quite a bit of stuff, mm -hmm. including, I do believe, some new routines for Limitless. Yep. Um, and remember, Limitless is now available with the Queen of Hearts edition, both as the full trick and as the reload pack. Yep. Um, oh, next week's vlog. Yes. Is a special, special one. Ah. Ah. Yes, it is. Um, are we gonna, shall we say? We will say, tune in next week to learn some stuff. Yeah, we've got... That's it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, okay. Make cool. sure you tune in next week to learn some tricks. Very good. All right, okay. So, uh, tune in next week. It may show up as a one minute video or a two minute video. But, but watch it. Watch it. Make sure you watch it. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you have a look on the Amazon store for the FIA app, now on Android. There we go. Perfect. That brings us towards the end of this week's Alakazam vlog. Thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, we have an absolute blast shooting these. Uh, and we will see you next week. Can I? No. On the very, very special. <laughs> yeah. Just a quickie. Oh, gosh. Right, okay, just one more quick thing. Two quick things. <laughs> right, just two quick things. <laughs> Firstly, our very, very good friend John Kerry has filmed a special free trick, um, free trick routine. Yep, it's called Quin Quincid Quintessential, Quintessential Carey. There we go. Um, it's on our website. It's only four ninety nine. You learn all three tricks for that. It's a streaming video, so check that out. And secondly, if your magic club or society has any magic news that they want us to share. Yeah. please send it in because we are going to be starting a little section which will just be telling them what's happening. If people have got yeah. information, yeah. Um, then let us know. Obviously, let us know in advance because we're never sure when this vlog's going to go out. It's usually we aim to get it out on a Friday, but give us a couple of weeks' notice if you've got a bit of news that you want us to to sort of put yeah, over. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, because then you guys will be updated in your local area of what's going on with the magic, so... Yeah, that'd be great. And obviously tell everyone in your club to subscribe to uh, this. Yeah, yeah. And then that's it. I'm ready. You can now sign off. Okay, I'm about to sign off, but you've taken what I said before. So, see you next week on the Alakazam video blog.